Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This is a driving video just because, well, why not? I've got a couple of minutes to talk while I'm driving home and I wanted to talk about something I've seen pop up in the comments a few times over the past couple of weeks. So, something I've been seeing is someone, well, few people saying that the, uh, the use of leaded solar in repairs is banned. And I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to clear it up and uh, basically say that what they are thinking of is the uh, restriction of hazardous substances, ROHS, which was introduced in around about 2006, I think it was. So it was introduced in around about 2006 and what that means is that the use of hazardous substances, so i.e. leaded solder, is forbidden in the manufacturing of new products. So that does not include repairs. So like I said, this legislation was brought in in 2006 or around about that time and it basically states that you can't use leaded solder in the production of uh, new products being manufactured after 2006 or after this date where the uh, restriction was put in place. It does not include repairs and that doesn't matter whether you're a hobbyist in your bedroom, it doesn't matter if you're repairing things on the side to earn a bit of extra cash, it doesn't matter if you're a full-time repair technician working for yourself or whether you work in a shop along with 50 other employees. It doesn't matter. If you're repairing electronics, it doesn't matter when that electronic was made, it doesn't matter when it was produced or manufactured or released or whatever, you can use leaded solder to repair it. The law that come into place, it basically states that you have to use less than 1% of leaded solder in products manufactured after 2006. Now, when you're repairing, for example, a HDMI port on a PlayStation 5, or you know, you're know you replacing a MOSFET on an Xbox Series X, or whatever it is you're doing, you're not using more than 1% of leaded solder. And for that reason, it's perfectly legal to do. You can use 6040 leaded solder, you can use 6337 leaded solder, it doesn't matter what it is, you can use it, okay? So, the reason that we use leaded solder is because it's a lot more forgiving, it's a lot easier to work with, it's got lower melting points, and it just gives for a much better job, right? So, we use leaded solder, lead-free solder has got a melting point of around about 217 degrees Celsius, that's about 6 billion degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> leaded, lead, uh, lead, yeah, lead-free solder, 217, and lead, leaded solder is, I believe, around about 183. So you can see the difference there in the temperatures when it comes to doing rework. If you was in a reflow oven, it wouldn't really matter because you heat it all up at the same time and stuff like that. But yeah, basically, that is a significant difference in terms of the melting points and stuff like that. And it just creates for a much better job as well when you're using leaded solder as opposed to lead-free solder. So I just want to clear that up, that it doesn't matter if you're a hobbyist or a full-time technician, you can 100% use lead, lead in solar for repairs. It's only when you're manufacturing new products that you have to use lead-free solar. So I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Do you use lead in solar? What brand do you use? I personally use Kesta. But yeah, let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, as always, for more repair videos and repair information videos and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.